after he was severely hurt in a horrific head-on collision that left his squad in this mangled mess. A Minnesota State Trooper is speaking out for the first time. Look at my car behind us. It's, it's pretty horrific. Just amazing that I survived that. Two weeks ago, Sergeant Mike Krakowski was in a squad car along Interstate 35 in Lakeville. Without warning, another driver veered off the freeway and hit the trooper's vehicle head on. As Bill Hudson explains, he wants his story to make us all safer. From a wheelchair, Sergeant Mike Krakowski gazed at what had been his state patrol squad car, knowing full well how lucky he is to be alive. First words out of my mouth that crash happened was thank you God, because there's there's no other reason why I'm here. Divine intervention and a seatbelt. All I can remember is just the, the car flying towards me, breaking through the fence, and I only had fractions of a second to process that. Krakowski was heading home May 15th when 29-year-old Paul Briggs suddenly veered off Interstate 35 in Lakeville, crashing through a frontage road fence and head on into Krakowski. The trooper's wife, Chrissy, drove past the crash site on the way to the hospital. And my heart just dropped, and I, I, I could feel myself starting to shake a little bit of what was going to happen tonight. Because in my mind, I had no idea how bad it really was when he called. The 14-year patrol veteran suffered a broken arm, leg, and crushed foot. Briggs was killed. It is a sobering reminder of why enforcing the seatbelt law is vital. State troopers believe in wearing a seatbelt. They just believe in that to their core. And when you look at that car at Tahoe and you look at Mike Krakowski and his family, that's why we believe in it. A reminder that so suddenly became so personal. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. The patrol expressed condolences to the family of Wesley Briggs, the driver who was killed in the crash, and reminds all drivers that seatbelts are the law for an obvious reason.